Hey everybody, Shane here, Paralife TV. Behind me, you see Montmorency Falls in Quebec. It's the last stop of our trip, and we're gonna go have some fun exploring the falls, so stick around. We're gonna take those cable cars that you see, all the way up to the top, and we're gonna cross over there, cross the suspension bridge, and I guess there's all kinds of trails all throughout. Uh, you can wheel through, walk through, and you can come down the other side on those stairs, which I'm going to pass on, but I am going to walk on the boardwalk that goes around to each side of the waterfall. So, okay, I'm going to get to it. Let's go exploring. Stick around. We made it to the top. Oh, we could have drove up. Thank you. <laughs> That's what they told you, Yeah. Wow. We're at the top. Here we are, guys. Montmorency Park. 
Now these waterfalls are higher than Niagara Falls. I think it's by 100 feet. 100 meters seems like an awful lot. Now we're gonna walk across the suspension bridge somewhere. A quick shot over here. Yeah, they're over here. Gotta pause it. Here's the manor, Montmorency. A lot of pushing. Here's the cable car after after getting off the cable car. We realized we could have drove up here. There's wheelchair parking right there. All right, let's continue on to the suspension bridge. We've got three sets of stairs to go down. What? <laughs> After pushing up more hills, and then up another hill, we finally got to the accessible suspension bridge path. So push up that hill. This is a nice park. See, it's uh, residential along there. I don't know what road that is. Hi right there, yeah. Yeah. So it's all residential. It's a road, but it's just a nice little park in the middle. There's a huge waterfall at this end of the park. Okay, so let's go to the suspension bridge. Onward. Finally, some flat ground. Rare in Quebec. So here we are. Here's a map. So we are right here. We are right here. Gotta go here. And no way I am doing those stairs. Ah, ran off in the grass. Here, I'm going this way, guys. Ah, Danny, you're blocking me. There's the suspension bridge. But we're gonna do this little lookout first. Take a peek over here. Holy smokes, are we ever high? I can see stairs. Look at the stairs. You can go down those stairs if you like. I'm gonna pass. But I wonder if anybody in wheelchairs ever did that. Maybe I can get the Guinness Book of World Records for it. The number of stairs. Descended. Descending stairs in a wheelchair. I wonder. Just look it up in a wheelchair. It's probably going to be more than that, though. Because someone could have went in the CN Tower and went down the stairs in the CN Tower. It looks like there's a few hundred stairs there. I'm going to look that up, actually. More than a few hundred. Okay, let's go. Just, let's do the bridge. Suspended bridge. Wowzers. Look at that. Oh, I'm busy. Crazy. A 
amount of water that comes through. Almost in the middle of the falls right here. Now look at that water. Wow. I can feel the bridge swaying just a little bit. Let's keep going. Oh, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Oh, made it. Back on solid ground. Whew. That's pretty intense. Hey, Dan. Here's the anchors. Look. I didn't see these on the other side. You can continue on these trails. You have some woods trails as well. You can go into into the forest, or you can keep walking straight up there, and then you can take a right and up and around, and then down the stairs. I showed you the stairs when I was on the on the uh, suspension bridge. So I'm not gonna take the stairs. I'm not gonna go up and around. Take the stairs down. There's 400 steps. No thanks. So I'm going to go back across the suspension bridge, we'll hit the cable car, back down to the main uh, lobby area, and then I'm going to go cruise around the bottom part of the falls, see how close we can get to them on the ground. Alright, let's go. Going back across. Crazy. Okay, I'm waiting for the cable car to come back and get me. And get me. I'm gonna go right back down to the main building. I'm gonna take that walkway. I'm gonna push all on there. Go to the bottom of the falls. And there's another walkway here that goes underneath along this cliff too. I might do that as well. I'm gonna do it all. Why not? I'm here.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Here we're along the boardwalk. There's home base. Home base. And we're going right along the boardwalk here. All wooden plank. Nice and smooth. Oops. So they can't get myself from the falls. Let's keep cruising. I'm gonna go way. I'm gonna go way over there where those stairs are. Then I'm gonna come all the way back around and go over to that point. There. Go on the boardwalk. No, I'm still, now it's all concrete paved, or concrete sidewalk, and we're going to go as close to the falls as we can. Let's see here. Oh, so smooth, easy going. Oh, it's so smooth he's going. I'm like cruising here. Okay, I'm gonna pause it so we get a little bit closer, okay guys? Hey, we're getting close to the falls. And look at those stairs. Holy oh, smokes, 400 steps in total. Crazy. Not today. Oh, that's as close as we can get, gang. That is steep. Whoa, I got a little bit of mist there from the falls. That's nice and refreshing. Yeah, this is closer to get. We got a fence, but oh, I can feel the mist from the, the falls. That is refreshing because it's a beautiful day today. Look at the steps. Shallow, very shallow. You can see the rocks. I wonder how deep it is. The base of the falls. It's just amazing. That is higher than Niagara Falls. I think it's by a hundred feet higher than Niagara Falls. So now I'm here and now I want to go over there and that will conclude the tour of the falls because then I would have covered it all. And uh, all right, let's boogie back. And I'm going to pause it and I'm going to pick up once I get on the other side of the boardwalk there, cut in. Just quickly want to show you how this cliff, how high up it is and how steep it is. And you have your stairs coming down over there to the left. Here's a good view of the seating area over the river. I'm not sure what river this is. I'll have to find that out. But I'm going to put all the links to the Montmorency Falls and down in the description. So you can go down there and click on it and get some more information. It's like going to these areas not knowing a thing about them. I don't do any research beforehand. I just kind of go in blindly. Even with the accessibility, I just go see what I'm faced with and 
deal with it the time comes. Okay. Okay, we made it to the fork. Now we're gonna go down to the left side of the falls. Let's see what that looks like. Hill bombing, Rick. It's going down, but I don't know about coming back up. Good cruising. A little bit of a push back up, but nothing compared to old Quebec City. <laughs> what are these guys doing? Hello. Looking for rocks? I found a rock. Look. Look at the rock I found. Hopefully we get a little bit closer to the files on the left side than on the right side. Oh, much better view on this side. Much better view. There we go, gang. That concludes our visit to Montmorency Park. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, Accessibility-wise, A-OK -okay for me. Still go online, do your research on it. If you're thinking of visiting with a wheelchair. Um, yeah, I got around to the most, most points of the park. I mean, I didn't go into the trails that were in the woods. I didn't want to. Um, Anyways, I put it. I got to all. I got to all the main points of the park. So it was a very, uh, very fun day, and uh, beautiful scenery, and just, uh, beautiful boardwalk. It's definitely worth a visit. Still, so go online, check it out if you're worried about accessibility and whatnot. So um, yeah, that's it for this. All right, keep rolling. Yes, uh, we see that uh, this one already has some, some little shells and microorganism. It's very, very tiny. Can you see it right here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's. Pretty sure that's it. So maybe we have something else. It's very hard to say. Uh, same for uh, this one. It's mine. Uh, this one is the same thing. And this one is the same thing. We have a lot of. Of things, little, yeah, little yeah, things. So maybe we have a big shell or yeah. um, other animals. 
like the one take a peek over there. Fossils. Hi. How are you doing? Good. Well, I've seen Good these, these ladies along the bank picking rocks, and then I guess they get they, yeah, fossils. You can, yeah, so both. Like, <laughs> uh, they are, yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get 20. So here I have one already found. So. Oh, do you? Okay. Uh, did they explain to you why we have fossils? No. no. Uh, they, don't say, they said how far back they dated, but I don't think they told me. Yeah, so be, because millions of years ago we had an ice period, and when the ice melted, there was a lot of water coming out of that uh, ice, so it was an ocean like this on oh. your head. And all the little animals used to live inside. Uh, when they died, they fell out into the sand. And they left an imprint because that sand got compressed throughout time. And they left the imprint of those animals, for example, right here. You'll have to brush up on that branch. Oh, wow, yeah, read right there. Yeah. This is a trilobite, so it used to look like this. Yeah. So this is one of the most you found uh, fossil in the world. Uh, if you look into this one, I have a lot of shell. Oh yeah. Of seashell. And into this one, you can see some coral. And this one is actually pretty really nice. You see, this is used to be an animal. Um, I have a blank on how it's uh, pronounced the name. <laughs> uh, but this part uh, was biodegradable. But the shell left an imprint right here. Oh, wow, right there. Yeah, yeah and you can see some kind of crystal. There are no crystals. Kind of. Very cool. Yeah. And if you look at those two types of rocks, they are both from ocean ground. But not the same type of ocean. So, for example, at the beginning, the water was really deeper. So the animals that live in the deep water are not the same one as live in the shallow water. So we can see that they are both from different types of oceans, so depending on sure. what's deep or not. Yeah. And if you look into this one, I don't know if you can see it, there is tiny, tiny, tiny circle. Yeah, right, okay, I see. Whoop. Yeah, so this is like schist. And those tiny circles used to be living creatures. Uh, for example, like you have, uh, when you put things into your... Uh, I have to blank out the English. Your trash is actually the smell, right? Yeah. So inside this truck, I can release the smell of those little creatures. I'm gonna put my bubbles in. Alright. So I can smell that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's it's like a, a perfume, right? It's like a, yeah, right. <laughs> It's like a flint. It smells like kind of like a flint. Yeah, so yeah, it's like a... uh, called schist. Do you know gas of schist? No, I don't know the gas. No, but this it's... is, uh, for example, fuel. Fuels, yeah. Yeah, so you can reuse that gas. And if you look into those two rocks, they are both what we call sedimentary rocks, so from ocean ground. This one is from sand that was compact, and this one is from sh uh, mud, and we call it shale. So they are quite different. Yeah, yeah. And if you look behind you, you can see a big pile of like rocks on the side of the fall. On the, on the right side? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, 